So you are told that the table below shows the results of an investigation to find the mass of dissolved solids in a sample of seawater. And you can see the table. The first one is asking us to rearrange the steps below in the right order of the procedure used. So the first thing to do is to measure a 10 centimeter cube of seawater. So that's one. And the second is to heat the sample. So that's two. Then the third is to measure the mass of solids that remained. That's three. And the last one is to repeat first one to three more than three times. Then the next one, you are asked to name four laboratory equipment needed for the investigation. Now, you can just go to the steps and then get the apparatus that is used. So with measuring, you first of all, you need a measuring cylinder. You also need, for the two, you need a Benson burner. You also need a tripod stand. You need a wire gloves. That's all for the heating. And the three, you need a weighing balance. Yes. So you have over four equipment used. Oh, yes. I, I, I state the use of each of the equipment. So your measuring cylinder is used to measure accurately the volume of the sea sample. The weighing balance is used to measure the solids that remain after evaporation. The Benson Mena is used to heat the water sample. The tripod stand and your wire goes are used as support to provide a stable platform for heating. And the Ivan is asking us to measure the mass of the solid that is remained. So what you do is you add all of this and divide by the number of samples. And the number of samples are four. So when you add all of them, you are going to have 6.96. When you divide by four, you are going to have 1.74. The diagram below illustrates a certain system of farming common in Ghana. Study the diagram carefully and answer the questions that follow. So we have inputs, we have activities, we have outputs, and we have um, another drop down below which says all outputs are used by the farmer and family. With the inputs, we have one plot of land, seeds, manure, wood plow, and family labor. Activities we have plowing, sowing, transplanting, harvesting. Then output we have rice and then vegetables. Then the first one is asking us name the farming system illustrated in the diagram above. It's subsistence farming. It says explain the farming system. Subsistence farming is a type of you know farming practice where farmers grow more crops and raise animals to meet family needs with no surplus, with no mindset of selling or trading to make money. So the next one, I, I, I is asking us three advantages of subsistence farming. It provides a reliable source of food for the family. It preserves traditional farming knowledge and it promotes self-sufficiency by reducing dependence and in this farming system, no inorganic fertilizers are used. So it's more of like an organic farming, which protects the environment. Now, three disadvantages is that when in a particular year, there's no rain, the farmer might not be able to feed his family. And it's going to be very laborious because no machines are used there's easy spread of diseases and also family labor is unreliable on this question the diagram below is an illustration of how a rocket uses jet propulsion to accelerate without using surrounding air based on newton's third law so we have a diagram here with a balloon sticky tape peg a string and a large drinking straw so the first question is, state the function of any two of the parts labeled above. So the peg prevents the balloon from deflating. Then the string 
serves as a reader or it gives direction to the balloon assuming the peg is removed for the balloon to propel itself the sticky tape helps to attach the straw to the balloon the next question is describe what happens when the peg is removed to release the air in a balloon okay so when the peg is removed the balloon will move based on the direction that the string has been um, positioned then I, 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 state the action and reaction on the balloon as the air peg is removed. So the action is the air in the balloon will begin to move backward and the reaction is the balloon will be propelled forward. The Ivan's action to state Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that when reaction there is an equal and opposite reaction. Then the Venus action explain how the experiment demonstrates Newton's third law. So since the Newton's third law is about action and reaction, the action over here is, um, the action happens when the peg is removed. So the action is actually the air moving out of the balloon and the reaction is the balloon being propelled forward. Flow diagram below represents feeding relationship among some organisms in an ecosystem. So we have studied the diagram below and answered the questions that follow. Green plant, herbivore, carnivore. So I, name and explain the food relationship shown above. Pretty relationship shown above is a food chain. And to explain, it's a type of linear relationship where the herbivore feeds on the green plant and the carnivore feeds on the herbivore and the organism in A move feeds on the carnival. Then I, I give two examples of organisms which may be found at A. A could actually be a decomposer, so we could have a fungi, we could have bacteria as well. Give two roles in green plants in the feeding relationship above. So the first role is that it provides food for the herbivore. The second role of the green plants is it begins the food chain. So without it, this food chain wouldn't have been there. Then the next question is to describe two rules of herbivores in the relationship above. In this relationship, the herbivore feeds on the green plant. That's one. And the herbivore serves as food for the carnivore. The next question is the two rules of carnivores in the relationship above. The carnivore feeds on the herbivore and the carnivore also serves as food for the A, which is, or which could be a decomposer.